There's something really fantastic about making your own food, but catching it is a whole different level. And I have a guest today to make this amazing mahi, mahi with a charred pineapple pico, a little cilantro lime rice. How does that sound? Todd Tobin. Delicious. The OG. Glad to be here. Nate. Todd, he, yes, thanks for having me. He caught this fish. We're mahi, gonna cook it. Mahi, Florida. We're gonna, we're gonna eat it. We might repeat it. Let's, let's do it. Yeah. Something I like to say is first things first, because usually it's the stuff that takes the longest. Timing, do you get those questions on your show? Like timing, how to get stuff to finish perfectly? Yes, people often say, you make it look so easy, it seems like there's camera trickery involved. Well, so. there's lots of trickery. Yeah. No trickery. I don't want to do any trickery. I mean, this is a, our show where we like to teach people how to become a better cook one recipe at a time. Uh, I'm actually going to show you something that Bruce Mitchell taught me. The alligator Grab man. that, yeah. Do you know this little trick? No, I don't. I didn't either. So uh, for those of you at home, if you ever make rice, uh, you're basically doing equal parts here. So I'm going to do one of these. Actually, a little bit more. Grab that chicken stock. I'm going to do one part uh, rice. We'll do one and a half parts liquid. Actually, uh, why don't you add that to this and give it a little bit of a stir. I'm gonna add some one and a lime half, juice. Right? Yeah, let's do one and a half, because I'm gonna add a little bit more liquid here as well. Now this is a really fun trick if you're making rice. I, I see a lot of people asking if you can cook for, you know, two people on a 36, and the answer is absolutely. You can, you can also cook for 200. What, what's the most amount of people you've cooked for? A lot, yeah, yeah. Some of those trade shows, we've done hundreds if not thousands over the course of a day. Yeah. yeah. We were in Miami, Betty and I did, I can't remember how many smash, I think 600 smash burgers or something ridiculous in just a few hours. Uh, let's grab the uh, chicken and herb over there. Uh, we're gonna add some chicken and herb to this as well. Uh, we're gonna give this a little stir. Yeah, go ahead and add it in. Now this is pretty much our rice. Oh wait, I need, to, well, I need a little cilantro as well, my friend. So that is just rice, stock, lime juice. Uh, you know what, let's add a little bit more. That was a decent amount of rice. I'm gonna have a good salt content on it. Grab that spoon and let's give this a stir. Now I'm gonna add more cilantro later just for some color, but I do want the flavor. So we're just gonna give this a big stir and I mean, that's kind of it. We're gonna cover it and we're gonna cook rice from scratch on our blackstone. How's that make you feel? You ever done I, that? I love it, I love it. Yeah? yeah Have you that, done rice from scratch? Uh, no, no, actually, no I mean, that, I'm usually cheating and using yeah, rice aroni. Pre- yeah. I know, those little packages you do though, those do yeah. save a lot of time. And there's sometimes it's like a Tuesday or Wednesday night and. You're not throwing a, a giant party or something like that. You want to do something quick, and I get that. But other times, you want to slow down, mix up that's a little nice. For sure. So we're gonna put a little topper on this because we want to steam a little bit. So we just made very quick and easy. Bob's your uncle. We did it. We did it. Onto the griddle. Now I'm gonna put this guy on high heat. Um, Let's get that up yeah, high heat. We want to bring that up to a simmer. We want it to start bubbling, uh, and that's actually going to slowly cook. It's not going to take long. When we're halfway through, we'll slide it over to the cool side, and then we'll get to our fish. But we have to talk about pico. You know what my number one rule with pico is? Keep it simple. He knew it. He knew it. Grab that bowl. Let's do it. I'll give you some. I'll give you some. <laughs> uh, grab that white bowl. So we're going to take um, we're going to take some of these peppers first. Do you want to cut these? Sure. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah. Have you used this knife, by the way? No, I have not. I've been. It's really fun. Admiring. I might have gotten some uh, lime juice on there. Let's switch sides. So for that, I want you to uh, do really thin, tiny little rings. Uh, let's start on the uh, the tip end. And rings, okay. Yeah, little tiny rings. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get going with my pineapple. Ethan, I don't know if you can get a close up of that. We have these pineapples in nice, thin slices, and this is pretty key because we want to get some really great caramelization. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil on the griddle and then add Add our pineapple. That's all it needs, just oil and pineapple juice and those natural sugars will start to get super caramely and crispy and the color is insane. I'm also going to fine dice some red onion. Now you've heard me say it before, I don't want to cook the red onion, I want it fresh and bright and I want that crunch. I've got a little bit of fresh garlic and I'm gonna give this a nice mince as well. Go as small or as large as you like, we just need that pop of garlicky flavor. Todd, do you ever cook your pineapples like this? For my uh, teriyaki burgers, I do, yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. I forgot about that one. That was a good one. I I really like doing them this way, especially with something as... You see how juicy that was? Oh, that's juicy, It's a little little warm, too. It's like it came off the griddle. 
Um, yeah, I think something like this too, the, this tart, beautiful flavor of the pineapple is gonna go perfect with that mahi. Yo, tell me about that fishing trip because it looked amazing. Outstanding. So we went out off of uh, Papano down yeah. South Florida near Deerfield Beach, about a mile offshore. We were trolling around for about an hour with the guide and lo and behold, a dream. Any ocean fish for me would be a dream as a guy living <laughs> inland. So, you know, I'm thinking 18 inch fish, 16, 20. We got a 42 inch, I got a 42 inch cow, a female, oh, uh, dolphin fish, a, a mahi mahi. And uh, Captain Sean said biggest one of the year for sure. Biggest one of the year for sure by far. I am in absolute shock today. Look at that baby. So oh, right, mahi mahi's not dolphin, it's dolphin dolphin fish. Dolphin fish. Yeah, and uh, mahi mahi's the Hawaiian word, and I think some people call it dorado. Mm, yes, uh, they do. Beautiful, wonderful, lean fish. We're not talking a super fatty cut, like it's not a, it's not salmon. Uh, it's more just lean and really, really bright in flavor, which is why we're adding a ton of flavor with all the other stuff. For sure, yeah. Were you thinking about cooking while you were fishing, like as you were bringing it up? Uh, yes, I when, I, when I saw that, I got really excited. You know, I am not a definitely a fish uh, cooking expert, yeah. uh, but I've heard people refer to mahi, of course, as you know the number one fish from the warm ocean. Of course, they talk about halibut being number one from the cold ocean, so, so excited to get a premium, premium <laughs> trophy fish. I'm really glad you got it too. Uh, you know, do you want to do red and green? How spicy do you want it? Oh, I'll, I'll take both. Yeah, yeah, let's go Christmas. I like a let's go Christmas. Let's see, New that Mexican <laughs> pepper that. term there. Uh, let's hit this with some of, um, you know what? You want to talk about our new seasoning? We have a little what? sneaky, this sneaky. We got a new one. Sort of a secret it's here. really, really new. It's but, our pineapple sriracha. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Tell me when. You tell me. Okay, well, let's Your fish. do a little bit. Uh, nice, look at that. That feels mm -mm -mm. good. I'm also mm -mm. gonna go with a bit of oil. Oh. You know, something I actually really, really enjoy about this seasoning, uh, the first thing I noticed, it's not overly salty. Uh, mm. So I do wanna add a touch of salt to this. Oh, that looks great. Mm. Oh, hey, you wanna learn something cool? Do you know the lime trick? The rolling? No, how to pick a juicy lime. No, I don't. With your uh, your ojos. No. No? So, uh, when uh, CJ, you wanna come down here? Or Ethan, you've got a better much better camera shot than, than CJ does. Uh, so this one is very, very green, and you can notice it's very porous. You see the porous uh, skin? This one is a little bit lighter in color, and it's very smooth. Uh, that's because the sugar has had a chance, and the uh, juice has had a chance to develop on the inside, so I know just by looking, this is going to be a far juicier lime than this one. You wanna give it the squeeze test, and you tell me what you think. It is, it's more soft, so yeah. look for this tidbit in one of my future smooth videos. Skin. Smooth skin. Is yeah, that a good one? Smooth skin. And then you take it to the next level. level. You give it a roll. You want to give it a roll? Okay. Give it a roll. Give it a slice. And let's squeeze it uh, right in here. Now, uh, Ethan, can you see this fish? Because this is a thing of beauty. And Todd, I don't think I've ever cooked for you like this before. No. And I no. really enjoy it. I'm really happy to be here. Yeah. Look at all the use. Oh, yeah. That's just gonna give us a really nice uh, little bit of sweetness and tartness. I mean, the pineapple already has that, but the lime has a very unique flavor characteristic. Ethan, so uh, one of the things I wanna uh, get over here, I want a very dry surface. Uh, Todd, uh, you have a really fun trick for all those people out there catching their own fish. You don't wanna rinse with fresh water. Correct, yeah, right. the, 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 uh, the guide cautioned me uh, against using fresh water, yeah. That looks pretty good. Now we are just gonna season these up uh, with some more of that. You wanna grab that seasoning for me? Do it. Let's uh, let's go pretty heavy. Uh, this is gonna give us a, be a be beautiful, beautiful. It beautiful. was so beautiful, I couldn't even speak to it. It is beautiful. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm thinking back and I'm thinking about the gorgeous blue, the yellow, the green colors on that uh, fish when I caught it. And this full is, circle. Yeah, it's bringing oh, back yeah. memories. Yeah, this is gonna give us almost like a blackening look to it just because of the consistency of that seasoning and it does have a, a bright punch of flavor so we're gonna get some of that flavor as well you know we were cooking earlier this week together uh, you know what? let's go a little bit more one more i want to show full coverage all right let's do it oh yeah beauty you know what you can do also i'm gonna pick this up i've got some Slides of that seasoning yeah. left over on the plate i can just go like that now this was a one-stop shop aside from you braving the wild and yes, catching yes. a beautiful mahi Oh, beautiful. You know what, grab a spatula right over there by Ethan. Uh, our uh, rice is doing pretty good. This is gonna take about 15 minutes or so. You just wanna look for a uh, nice soft, right, soft, 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 with a T also. Uh, let's slide that over that direction. And I'm gonna go with some of, where's my oil, my, my oil. Can you grab that for me, Todd? 
Let's go with a decent, uh, healthy amount of oil here. Now I'm up on high heat, and what we want is a beautiful sear. Now I'm gonna go down with this first. Beauty, oh yeah, thank you, Todd. These are gonna be gorgeous and not very long. We're talking five, six minutes. Two and a half, three minutes per side. I mean, it depends on how big of a piece of fish that you're, I wouldn't want mm. to necessarily serve a piece of fish much bigger than that. Would you? No. Like a single it, portion? It would be scary, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be scary. Yeah, yeah so uh, we'll see you guys in about four and a half minutes and counting. I feel like something as beautiful and simple as Mahi Mahi really doesn't need a ton of extra work. Uh, that's why all this stuff is extremely, extremely simple. Uh, once your rice is done, you'll know because it's been nice and steamy, it's soft. Uh, you can take a little bite of it. If it needs a little longer, let it go just a little bit longer, but this looks flawless. Uh, also, our pineapple pico just needs a stir and we're all done. It's time to plate, Todd. You ready to plate this up? Let's do it. Simple and easy. Let's put our rice down first and then our gorgeous mahi-mahi fillets right over the top of our rice. And we're gonna finish it with our pineapple pico right over the top. I mean, it does not get easier. It does not get easier, Todd. This is stunning. This is unbelievable. And I can't wait to eat. It looks beautiful. You know, and you know, it might need- it looks beautiful. It might need one more thing. You think a little fresh lime juice will go a long way? Yeah, let's Go do for it. it. Oh yeah. Do you use lime very often? Is uh, it a Colorado thing? Yeah, I put it in, you know, Mexican food. I yeah. have been putting a lot in fish this week now that That's we're good. catching all these fish. I had a little bit of grapefruit too. I'm gonna go with some grapefruit because I want to. It looks so good. And you know what we can do? Just to uh, be a little fun, a nice big hunk of cilantro and there we go. Are you, are you get your phone out? Just so I've you guys know, get, Todd I'm, is getting... I've got to get a picture of this. Do, do it for the gram. We're, as many uh, memories of the mahi as possible. Yeah. I feel like there's some things that you can do with fish uh, that you just can't do with other proteins. Uh, this was extremely simple. If you go out and catch a mahi like Todd did, uh, you can cook for a ton of people. Or if you just want to cook something really nice. I think I'm most excited about the pineapple and that little bit of jalapeno. Like yeah. that little bit of heat in there. Mm. Cheers, my friend. Sweet heat. Mm-hmm. Mm. Bro. Oh yeah. So good. Pineapple and pick the heat. I need more pineapple. I'm just getting the pineapple because I was sitting on the griddle. We got that caramelization on there. We brought it a mm. different um, level of sweetness in our pineapple. Mmm. In the heat. The jalapeno. Mm. This is like a full palate pleaser. Oh yeah. Thank you so much for hanging out, brother. I appreciate it. It was so much fun. We gotta do it again. Mm, Pico's great. Thanks, Be sure Nate. to uh, check out Todd's show. Check out CJ's first cooking show. Check out Betty's show. But this is Cook, Eat, Repeat, where we help you become a better cook, one recipe at a time. See you guys in the next video. Mm.